Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to look over the Gulfstream card for January 5th, starting in race one. Race one is uh, not a great race to get involved with. There's only a couple of horses that have turf experience, and one of them is pretty fast, and they have the right favorite, Morgan's Bluff. Um, but there's just a lot of horses that have never tried the surface, and a lot of them have done okay on the all-weather track, which might translate. Of course, like Black Ice, uh, it was only four to one. And uh, the seven, Amor Salvaje, 12 to one, probably some value. The five, Artifact, it's just not a great race to get involved with. Um, the four, Take It South at 15 to one, has a turf race. Um, a lot of times horses improve second time on the turf. So there's a few horses to, to screw around with, but uh, I'm not going to make any kind of bet or get involved at all. Race number two, um, they... Uh, Race number two basically looks like uh, a Quinella, a Q. Looks like they have the right favorites with the five naval officer and the eight fight. These two are definitely a little better than the rest, but another horse that has a shot that I would use is the nine take my shot. And uh, those three are really the only horses I would use in this race. There's a couple others that have kind of a long shot chance of winning, but um, you know, I wish the, the favorites weren't so short, but Naval Officer Fight and the Nine Take My Shot, uh, maybe screw around with those three in a try box or something. Race number three is a uh, is a tough race. A lot of horses have a shot. Um, a lot of horses dancing between the all-weather and the turf. Uh, I think they have the wrong favorite, though. Seven Mandy Green, I would toss. I think this horse just is horrible value at 9 to 5. And I do think the favorite, or the second choice, the two of Maria's Revenge, only five to two, but actually maybe some value there. This horse is by far the most likely winner. Um, it's not a great race to get involved with. If you're doing uh, pick fives or multiple race bets, I would maybe single Maria's Revenge. But if you, you know, there's a lot of value here, so there's a lot of potential. Race number four is a bunch of maidens, and first-time starters don't seem to be a low price. Actually, one of them is a low price, but we generally throw throw out first-time starters. We generally feel that first-time starters are overbet. Um, actually, there's no bet first-time starter here. There's there's four horses that have a shot here. Two of them are very big favorites, Anna Gun, Anna's Gun, and Miha. The other two are a step slower, but they're very long. The two, Adelisi's Smile, and the five, okay, fine. 20 to one and eight to, eight to one. I would bet those two horses. I think there's good value there. I would use them in doubles or pick threes. I would box them. I would um, I would try to, you know, I would try to set it up so that if they happen to come in one, two, you do pretty well. They probably won't, but there's good value there. Race number five, they, um, they seem to have the right favorites. Actually, the, the the morning line favorite, Musical Design, has been off for a year, and, and she is very fast, but uh, she's never run on the all-weather track. She's only run on turf, and she's shipping in and been off for a year. I would throw out this horse. I mean, there's just no reason to play around with a favorite like that. And the uh, second and third choices are the best horses in the race. Number one, Stake Acclaim, and number four, Feline. They're pretty short, but they're actually not that short. Four to one and three to one aren't horrible for a short field where a lot of horses have no chance. So I think it's actually decent value Quinella, those two. Number one, stake a claim, and number four, feed line. Race number six. Um, race number six is uh, another one of these races where horses switching between the um, turf and the all weather. It's it's kind of a strange race, and I could make a case for almost any horse in this race. And I just I think this is a great race to screw around with the favorites. Number one, crack shot, four Toretto and eight to Old Town Road. These horses are 15 to 1 or 20 to 1. And maybe they're a step slower than the favorites, but maybe not. I mean, they really uh they really aren't that different. It's really a wheel race, and those three horses are long. So I would uh I would use those horses. Race number seven. What do we got? Seven, we have a mile and a half on turf. Don't pretend like you can handicap these races because you can't. There's a lot of randomness. And any horse in this race can win except the uh, seven social engagement. I don't get why this is the second choice. Doesn't look like it has a shot. And the nine running legacy. Eh. I mean, 
basically this race, I think the value, and this is just a, a crapshoot, is the one blue times. This horse should be the favorite. I don't know why he's 10 to one. He's got good races going long. He's consistent. This is probably the value of the race. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if anyone won this race. And the five in a spin at 20 to one. I mean, this is as good as anyone in the race. Um, and the six Broadway boogie, nine to two is not a great price, but he does have a good race going long last year. And that is important. So I would screw around here with the one blue times, five in a spin and six Broadway boogie. Race eight. Um, race eight, we have a favorite collaborate that definitely can win. Um, but we have some good long shots. Number three, Universal Payday. Uh, four, American Prince at five to one. It's a tough race. And the um, the bottom two, the nine Celestial Glaze has some slow starts, unfortunately, um, and has never tried. Oh, it's only a seven furlong race. Uh, this horse is the best horse at seven furlongs, but tends to have problems coming out of the gate. And the 10 Ludington seems like good value. I would screw around with the three, four, nine, ten. Um, you, you know, the favorite, favorite, it's good. You might want to add the favorite. It's pretty short. You can decide whether or not how you want to hedge. And the last race, race nine, looks like a clear cut box between the one, two, three. Uh, these are the best horses. And there really aren't too many horses in this race that have a shot. A lot of first time turfers, a lot of slow turfers. I would be surprised if anyone besides one, two, three came in the money. And uh, somehow they have the four as the favorite. So there is a decent value. These horses aren't, uh, aren't super short. And uh, that's it. That is it for um, the card today. And we hope that uh, you have a good day. And you can see behind me, Better Takes. If you bet on sports, go to the, the Apple App Store, go to Better Takes, uh, download the Better Takes app. It will help improve your betting performance. If you're not, if you don't have an iPhone, use on your mobile browser m.bettertakes.com and start winning more. All right, guys, take it easy and, and have a winning day.